This video poster presents a book about Australasian tectites. It contains 42 chapters, as well as a dictionary and a reference list. After watching each video poster, you can download relevant chapters for detailed readings, using the link in the description below. This poster covers chapters 05 and 06, about splash form tectite shells and tunnels. Shells from splash form tectites are created, when a tectite with low viscosity nucleus lands, and the solid shell breaks into pieces, being expelled, and the low viscosity nucleus pops out. Shells are distinctively different from spalls as they have flat edges, spalls always have at least one sharp edge. An inner coating layer, between the solid shell and liquid nucleus, can sometimes be seen, probably remains of the softer nucleus. Shells have many forms, depending on the parent tectite, but normally they have three to five flat edges, mostly from pentagons, and are between a few millimeters to a centimeter in thickness. Often the convex sides of shells are filled with surface bubbles, while the concave inner sides are smooth, with only a few small bubbles. A hollow tectite would therefore have as many surface bubbles per square centimeter, on the concave inner, as on the convex outer side. As that is not the case, the parent tectite could not have been hollow, instead, it contained the still low viscous nucleus. This image is from a book by French geologist Alfred Lacroix. Gas bubbles between the nucleus and the shell are compressed at the percussion point, to a degree where they are expelled, and create tunnels that radiate outwards on the surface of the nucleus below the shell, a tiger claw. Directly at the percussion point, gas is compressed inwards into the nucleus and creates deeper cavities. The landing site of the nucleus, shows impact planes that have smoothed the surface. This is an illustration of phases in splash form tectites landing with a hard shell and a liquid nucleus, cracking and expelling shells, creating tunnels, a tiger claw, and impact planes on the nucleus. Close-up of a tunnel from splash form tectite number 16, showing its typical U-form with rounded ends after expansion. A composite image, showing a tiger claw radiating out, and cavities from inward compressed bubbles, at the percussion point. Part of a tiger claw, with one tunnel halfways extending into the nucleus, preserving the original tunnel. Download chapter 5 and 6 from the link below, to read more about these topics.